Hi there, I'm Kristen. You're watching Kristen Cooks. And tonight I have a quick and easy dinner that we like to have in the summertime. Um, most of it's done out on the grill. And I have just a couple things to do here on the stove. So we're not heating up the house very much. It's really easy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be marinating these bad boys right here and I'm going to be putting a teriyaki marinade on them. It's 2.30 in the afternoon right now. I just got done with my morning errands that I had to run. I was gone for a couple hours. I started the pasta salad earlier this morning. I You'll see that in the video. But um, so yeah, um, it's just a new pasta salad that I saw on Pinterest and I haven't made it before and it combines jalapeno poppers and pasta. I mean, that sounds really awesome to me. And then for dessert, I was thinking about maybe doing a dump cake with these two things here. They're really good. And I was going to make maybe a homemade caramel sauce too to go with it and we have some ice cream in the freezer. so. I thought we'd just kind of use what we have and have some fun. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Um, like this video if you like it. If not, you know, don't worry about it. It's okay. Maybe you will the next one. So um, I'm just going to get going and yeah. Okay, to, to start the pasta salad, I boiled this um, rotini pasta last night, the night before, and um, had it cold and ready to go so I could put it, um, assemble the salad the next day. Uh, so I have some mayo. I'm going to link this recipe for you in the description box. But mayo and sour cream and cream cheese, um, kind of all the things that you would find in jalapeno poppers, but in pasta form. So here's the cream cheese, just about like two or three ounces is all you need. And this salad did not disappoint at all. And then garlic powder and onion powder for seasoning. And of course, salt and pepper. And there's the salt, just a little bit. We don't need too much here. And then here come the jalapenos. I use jarred. I don't have, I don't usually buy fresh. The recipe says to get them fresh and do it like that. Use them, you know, roast them in the oven or the grill. But, you know, I just use a jarred because it's easier. And because we also have the juice in the jar and that will just add more spice and flavor to the pasta salad so that's what I did so I just add in some mix it up and I'm gonna be running some errands this morning so I'm I want to do this before I leave so it can be in the fridge and get chilled and um, you know it'll just be easier for me when I make dinner later so I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap and get it in the fridge and take off. Okay, so first thing I want to do is start on the marinade for these bad boys so they can be in it for a while before I want to cook them. And I have the marinade, marinade recipe written out here. This is what I use every time for the teriyaki marinade. It's really good to go on chicken or, you know, beef, whatever you want to use it for. So I'm just going to be licking off this. And I have four cloves of garlic chopped up here. And I decided that I wanted to make kind of a paste. This is gonna go in the marinade. So I just put a little bit of salt on the garlic and that's gonna draw out a lot of the moisture that's in the garlic. 
you can you'll you'll be able to tell like right away like see the liquid it's already coming out it's already starting to look kind of wet here on my cutting board so i just put the salt on on the garlic and then i just mash it with my knife here and it'll form kind of a paste and i think maybe this will go like more all over the the beef the short ribs here instead of just kind of big chunks just kind of floating around i'm just looking to get some more flavor out of the garlic and i think this is a good way to do that so i'm just going to do that i think we're about good you can mash it down for as long as you want and break it down as far as you want to go with it but i think this is good here see i think that's good and i'm gonna put the marinade in this big bowl here because i'm going to put the short ribs in here to marinate so i'll just put my garlic in there and we're pretty much done with prep with the cutting board and the knife there so i'll put that aside and then i have i need two tablespoons of honey so i'm gonna just eyeball two tablespoons there's about one and whoo it's getting kind of warm in here i think i need to turn down the air Woo. okay so that's about two and then a half a cup of soy sauce i have my little measuring cup here so i'm just going to squeeze in a half a cup this is reduced sodium soy sauce i always try to get the reduced sodium whenever i can so i'll just put that in there and two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar I'm just gonna eyeball one, two. That's about good there. And then one tablespoon of fresh garlic. However, I do not have fresh garlic, so powdered is it is. So I'm just gonna eyeball about a tablespoon. I'm gonna go a little extra because I really like ginger. I like the warm spice and it's kind of like citrusy too in a little in a little kind of way oh i forgot the uh, brown sugar but first i'm going to put in some sesame oil i love sesame oil so two tablespoons one two can never have too much of that okay i forgot the brown sugar <clears throat> i have it <gasps> Oh no, I ran out. Oh my gosh. Okay, no problem. Um, I thought there was still some in there. Okay, so we're just gonna make do. We'll just kind of make it on the fly here. So we just need two tablespoons. So I'm gonna measure Two tablespoons of sugar. I need more sugar. Oh my gosh. So there's one. I'll just put it in my bowl, my marinade bowl here. There's two. And I'm sure you all know this, but what makes brown sugar brown is molasses. So we'll just make it easy on ourselves here. I'll just drizzle in a little bit there you go and that'll give it some of that really good molassesy flavor you know it's really thick and sticky and just really deepens the flavor of what you're doing i gotta make some more brown sugar though that's a must usually i just um make my own brown sugar in the 
um, stand mixer, I just <laughs> I just pour in a bunch of my light is dragging this down. But anyway, I just put in a bunch of sh what granulated sugar into my um, stand mixer. And then I just pour in a bunch of molasses and let it let it go, let it mix around. OK, so this thing wants to be pointed down. I'm going to go with it. Um, and this is it for the marinade. And it smells so good. It smells just rich and salty and soy saucy. And I love it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I have some hoisin sauce in the fridge here, which is like a barbecue. Uh, Chinese barbecue sauce. So guess what? I'm going to put just a little bit in there. Woo. Okay. Hold, hold the phone there. That's like really good. Oh, and you know what else is good to put in here? I know we have acid from the vinegar, but I like to put a little lemon in here too, to just kind of brighten up the, the savoriness here. Because these are really rich flavors with the soy sauce and the brown sugar. So I just want to put in a little squeeze here of lemon juice. I lied about not using my uh, cutting board anymore for this. But anyway, I'll just take half a lemon. Oh, I got to be careful though, because we don't want to leave this in the marinade too long with the acid. So that's okay. I'll just I'll just go light, just a little bit there. I remembered that it's all it's not it's barely three o'clock here, and I will probably cook these at about six, and they're gonna go on the grill. But mm, that smells good. I can smell the citrusy, lemony flavor, and it's really cutting through all the all the richness of the teriyaki marinade. So that's good. So I'm going to put these guys in here. These were on sale at the store. $2 savings. So good enough for me, you know, that's the sale. So it can come home with me and we can have it for dinner. So I'm just going to put each one of these guys in here. It's like this. I love these little short ribs. They cook up really fast and they have plenty of fat on them, which means plenty of flavor, which is good. And this is two, just over two pounds. This will easily feed my family of four, no problem. No problem at all. And the sugar will help marinate these and make them really tender along with the lemon juice. So that's perfect. So I'm just gonna zhuzh these around in here in this marinade, just like this. You really don't need to leave these in the marinade for very long. I mean, maybe an hour, you know, in my case, it's gonna be about three. So by that time, it's gonna be perfect. And these are gonna be really flavorful and ready and they're gonna caramelize really, really good on the grill. We'll cook them over a really hot grill. Put that sucker on high. And these are going to be fantastic. So I'm going to put a lid on these, put them in the fridge, and I'm going to move on to my pasta salad. Okay, so for one of the elements in the jalapeno popper sal uh, pasta salad is, hold on a second. So as I was saying, one of the elements in a jalapeno popper salad is bacon, of course. So I have four slices of bacon here and I'm just going to chop them. I have this large frying pan here heating up. So I'm just going to chop these up, cut these up into the pan. I just didn't want to dirty a cutting board with bacon and you know all that stuff so i thought i would just snip 
the bacon into the pan here. I have it over about medium heat. Shouldn't take too long. So this is the pasta salad I worked on this morning before I left for the morning. And um, in here we have cream cheese, mayo, and sour cream. And I have a little some jalapenos, jarred jalapenos. The recipe calls for like fresh, but I don't have, I, that's just not something I normally buy. I always have jarred jalapenos in my fridge. So that's what I'm using. And then I put in a bunch of um, the juice from the jar, in the jar. And we tasted it and you're definitely getting the essence of jalapeno poppers without like the deep frying and the breading and all that stuff. And then I thought I would put in, I got to stir my bacon over there. See, look, I can smell it. We're getting a little, a little toasty over here. I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad. Normally I would put on my hood fan, but I don't want to, I don't want you guys to have to listen to that noise. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but anywho, I thought lime juice would be kind of a um, cut through all the, the richness from the cream cheese and the mayo and the sour cream. So I'm just going to eyeball a little bit here on my bowl. I'm just going to boop, 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 just a little bit. And we'll mix that up. Let's see. That did anything. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Because it was pretty rich with all that cream and stuff, you know? So anyway, that's just like, that's good just like that. So the other part that's good Hello, I'm right here. Come on. Okay. So <laughs> is Colby Jack cheese. So I'm, I prefer to have grated cheese in my pasta salads. If you're having the type of salad where you need to put cheese in Colby Jack or whatever, um, I like to grate it instead of cubing it. Um, excuse my hand, please. I'm sorry. I have this new light here on my camera and it's attached to it and it's making my my phone a little top heavy so it like falls down a little bit see but this light works so good anyway i'm just gonna leave that there i'm gonna i'm just gonna turn it off actually i have a ring light up here we'll just go with that <clears throat> so i'm gonna get my um bacon out of the pan i can hear it's almost done so i'm just gonna get that out of the pan Okay, so the bacon is done. It's well crispy enough here. So I'm just gonna take it out and let it hang out on this paper towel here. And it can just cool down, stop getting so crispy. I make people not happy in my house if I make bacon that is too crispy. They get very upset. So four strips of bacon made about that much, and that's that's enough. That's fine. So I'm just gonna set that right there. And now it is time to grate some cheese. Let's see. I need some scissors. I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and grate this cheese here and then I'll get the rest of the salad put together. So all we need here is a half a cup and that is about what I have here. I'm just, you know, just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exactly right. So then just put this in here. And then my bacon is just slightly warm here, so it's okay. 
I'm just going to put this in two. And that's it. That's the salad. I showed um, earlier what seasonings I put in, but yeah, there we go. This is a good twist on a pasta salad because how many times have you had the same pasta salad over and over in the summertime, you know, as a side dish? Because I love pasta salad in the summertime. And I'm sure a lot of a lot of you you guys too. So Yep, this looks about right. This looks good to me. So, um, you know what? Actually, it needs some, some brightness in here, like some parsley. I'm going to get some parsley. It's not in the recipe, but it just looks so one note. And I'm just doing this for color, really. I'm not doing it for flavor. I just feel like it just needs some, a little bit of freshness and greenery in there. And that'll help it pop a little better. And I love parsley and everything. <laughs> so I'm just going to see, look, it looks so much better already. looks gorgeous okay so all mixed together and garnished properly so i'm just gonna cover this back up with some the plastic i had on it earlier put it back in the fridge and it will be ready for us when we're ready to eat and then along with the pasta salad and this the the short ribs i'm gonna grill up some corn too, and that's going to be dinner. And it's going to be so good. I thought my phone was like falling again. <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm done with prep for dinner for later. So now I want to start on the dump cake, which I'm excited about. Yeah, we have um, some vanilla ice cream left in the freezer. So I wanted to do a little dump cake for dessert. It's kind of fallish though, like, you know, the apple flavors, but that's okay. I need to use it up. It's, it was in my, in my pantry and I kind of need to use it up. So I'll just do that. So I'm just going to get my, this is how I always store my cheese. Does anybody else do it like this? <laughs> um, I'm just going to get this back in the fridge before the cheese warms up too much. Put this in the fridge and we'll get going on dessert. Just a minute. Okay. So moving on to the dump cake. So, um, I only have one can of the apple filling in my cupboard and the recipe calls for two cans, but it's also for a nine by 13. So, my thought is, what if I just use a nine by nine and one can? Okay, that should be good. And then probably use the whole thing. We'll see. And then I'm also going to use probably about a half a stick, maybe to two to three quarters, maybe. And I'm actually heating up a pan on the stove and I'm going to actually just melt the butter and mix it in with the cake mix. So that way I don't get any weird powdery bits on the top, you know, where it just didn't get enough butter. And if you don't put an butter over every square inch of the cake mix, then those parts that don't get the butter are just gonna stay powdery and kind of just odd when you're eating it. So instead of, you know, worrying about that problem or dealing with it later, I'll just melt it right now and mix it in here. Okay. And I'm also using yellow cake mix. Um, I don't think it really matters if you use white or vanilla. I would actually prefer to use vanilla, but it's all right. We're just going to use this. So let me, I'm just going to go over to my stove here. Can you see me? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's like this. 
but I'm just kind of, I'm going to, I want to put about that much in here. I'm sorry. There. And we'll just see where it gets us, okay? That'll just be the easiest. I can always melt down some more butter if I need it. So um, first thing first, I'm going to spray my pan with some good cooking spray here. I'm going to spray it really good to make sure it doesn't stick anywhere like that. I'm going to take my little can here. And there we go. I'm going to get a spatula. So anywho, the pieces of apple in here are kind of big. So I'm just going to go through with my spatula and just kind of break them up a little bit. Like that. And then maybe, you know, it'll stretch a little bit farther too like this. Because I don't really want to go to a smaller pan than this. It might take too long or something. I don't know. I'm just going to go with what I have here. It'll be good. It'll be fine. I don't want to, like, run to the store just for one more can of pie filling. Like, it's not really necessary, I don't think. <sighs> so... There we go. How is everybody's summer going? Is everybody having a good summer? Everybody have nice busy vacations planned? Camping trips, that's what we do. We have two more this summer. It'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, speaking of which, so I was thinking about doing like a vlog style of we're going to the coast for about a week. And I was thinking about doing just like a vlogging of the whole week, like what we eat. I could include some packing and, you know, just what we did, like some of the scenery there, the Oregon coast. What do you think? Should I do that? I thought that would make a good video. But anyway, comment below what you think. But anyway, here's that. I'm going to grab a bowl to mix up the cake mix and the melted butter. So let's see. I'm just going to use this whole thing, okay? I'm just going to do it. Because I'm making a smaller batch, a smaller dump cake, I probably don't, you probably really don't need the whole thing, but it's okay. It'll just be more topping. How bad can that be? I don't think bad at all. Okay, I have my melted butter. And then I'm going to add some cinnamon too. I'm going to add a little bit to my apples here. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit on because I love cinnamon. And then I'm going to sprinkle some into the cake mix. Excuse me. That'll add a really nice spicy warmness to this dessert. Okay, so I'm just going to add the melted butter. Again, this is like three quarters of a stick of butter. I am more than happy to melt some more if this doesn't quite moisten up this enough because we want this powder to be pretty wet, the cake mix here. Yep, I can tell already. I'm going to melt some more. I'll be right back. So yeah, one full stick melted butter. That's going to be, that's going to be the ticket I think here. So then I'll just mix it up. I'll mix it up really well here and make sure the butter gets all over the cake batter. 
cake cake mix. Not it's not batter, it's cake mix. We haven't added any liquid really to it, so it's not really a batter. Is what I'm telling myself. Okay. I think that's about good here. I think this is going to brown up just just fabulous. There we go. See? I think that'll work. So I mixed the cinnamon into the apples here. And I'm just going to dump onto there. See, I know that works out just fine. I don't think it's going to be too much at all. Too much cake mix. That's going to be just fabulous. Okay. So then this is going to go in the oven for probably close to an hour, I'd say. I'm guessing 45, 50 minutes. I'll check it at 45 minutes just to see. Anyway. In the oven it goes. Oh, I should, I need to. Okay, see you back here in a little while. All right, now it's time to get the grill going. I have these corns on the grill. It's about medium high heat. Just wrap them in foil, drizzle them with olive oil or canola oil and some seasoning and let them go for like 20 minutes, turning them f frequently. So they get a nice char in them and then I take them off and now it's time to put on the short ribs and I slap these guys down and you know, it's only going to take a few minutes per side. Like these grill up so fast. That's part of the, the reason why I love them. Now I take them inside and I just kind of section them out like this with some scissors so it's easier for everybody to grab what they want and it's so much easier to eat them this way. You could leave them whole if you wanted, but this is just what we like to do. And here's my husband giving it a try. He says, yep, that's good. <laughs> and so now it's time to dish up. So doesn't that look so good? This pasta salad was really so good. My husband said that is wonderful. Like when he says that like off the bat, like right away, then you know that it's good. He especially liked it because it had a lot of spice and it had a lot of flavor to it. And it honestly really did taste like a jalapeno popper, like, like make this. And it'd be great for a crowd too. If you have any barbecues coming up or family gatherings, reunions, whatever, bring this salad and people will love you. It is, it would be the hit of the party. I'm telling you, it is such a good pasta salad. So um, here I am, I'm eating my dinner, I'm watching some trash TV and eating dinner, and let me tell you, dinner was so good. It was so good, so good, I loved it. Anyway, moving on, now it's time for dessert. So this apple dump cake was so, so good. I made a homemade caramel sauce. I can link the recipe for that too. It's only three ingredients and look at, it comes out so beautiful and luscious and caramely and wonderful. We're getting the fall vibes going kind of early this summer, okay? But it's okay, just for this dessert. Now we're back to summer. <laughs> but anyway, I just warmed it up, the dump cake. I recommend doing that before you eat it so that the uh, ice cream will melt down a little bit over it and it just adds to it so much. And then I just drizzle on some of the caramel sauce and this dessert was so good. I cannot wait to have dessert again tonight after dinner. So thank you for watching this video. I'm so, I'm kind of sorry, but not that it's such a long video. I just kind of was having fun chit chatting with you guys and I hope you stuck around to the end. If you did, round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'm going to have more videos coming at you, so stay tuned for that.